if you can see my ring finger. Anyway, I was going to do laundry. I've got some laundry sitting there. It was, there was a pile on the floor and I bent down. <laughs> it's dark. We don't have a light here to scoop up the laundry and you can see it. I want to touch it. The wood, there's a big chip out and I just happened to reach my hand down to scoop the laundry, got too close, scraped my finger and fingernail along that and picked up a huge sliver or splinter and can you see it? It went right under the nail bed and it's burning. It, it It's on fire. Like it brought tears to my eyes and made me stop and like tingle and that whole, my entire finger is burning. So I tried getting it out with tweezers. Um, that didn't work. All it did was there was a tiny little wee edge sticking out the top and all the tweezers did I won't focus all the tweezers did was um just pull that tiny little bit out of the top and it left the rest so um yeah it's it's hurt I thought I could just leave it but it it's just hurt so bad I think I'm gonna have to head to the clinic so we were running to town anyway to go to the dollar store to get some stuff for the garden so I'm just going to swing by the walk-in clinic and see what they have to say if they can. You see it there? Yep, it hurts. <laughs> it's throbbing. So I'm going to see if they can do something about it or, I don't know, give me some kind of painkiller. I don't know. Okay, it's making my nose run. It hurts and my eyes water. It hurts so bad. Okay, we're going to head into town and, and if it's not too weird, um, maybe we'll vlog it <laughs> at the clinic. Okay update coming soon okay so we are out of the clinic I didn't vlog while we were in there cuz being my hand trying to hold the camera with my other hand it was a bit tough anyway we went in it was quite the splinter um, he was couldn't believe how big it was anyway so he ended up um, having to give me a block because it would have been too painful to try to um, get it out without some kind of freezing in so as you can see so he just where there's that all the blood is in the right in there so he stuck the needle in there he said he gave me three cc's of um, fluid which is why my finger is so <laughs> fat right now so he stuck the needle in there he said it was gonna hurt actually he was kept telling me he's like oh it's really gonna hurt it's gonna hurt he stuck the needle in and he's like I'm like oh when's it supposed to start hurting and he's like now and I'm like well I can't feel anything and then I said or is it and he's like oh well just wait and then he started pushing the fluid through and I still couldn't feel anything and I'm like he's like doesn't it hurt now and I'm like nope so I don't know if he just tells you it's gonna hurt so you think it is and then it doesn't or if I just well, I'm a ginger, so I probably I probably don't have any feelings. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't feel anything. It did not hurt. So he stuck the needle in there and then pumped me full of, um, I don't know, anesthetic, I guess, to freeze it. So it I can't I can't feel anything. It's all like weird. And then stuck the needle in, pumped up, filled my finger full, full of fluid and then waited a couple minutes for it to take and for my whole finger to be frozen then he um, oh so weird when you can't feel anything um, then he just pinched the end of my finger and I said nope can't feel anything so he then flipped my finger over and stuck the tweezer in the underneath the nail bed there and struggled a little said yep it's pretty deep and it's really stuck in there so he had to reach down under my nail and right like I'll show you on this like right underneath and quite a ways down and then just managed to grab it with the tweezers and pull it out and I and then yeah that was it and then uh, cleaned it up put a little bit of um, like I don't know like one of those alcohol wipes cleaned up the fingernail because it was bleeding a bit so cleaned that all up for me and bandaged me up and good to go there, maybe I should try actually vlogging. <laughs> I wasn't really prepared to um, vlog today. Anyhow, um, yeah, it went really well. It was 
fairly uneventful. When I got there, I said to him, oh, he walked in and I said, oh, I'm here to test your, I'm here to test your um, problem solving skills and your technical skills. Hey, and then he, so he took a look and I told him what happened and then he ended up having to leave the room and go and grab his supplies. He needed a needle with the anesthetic and bandages and some wipes, brought Stetson a little syringe. Anyway, it was awesome. He was a really one of our favorite doctors. He did a great job. And um, yeah, it's all taken care of now. So hopefully that's the end of it. Hopefully there's no, um, no further infection or uh, now all my fingers look kind of swollen. I don't know what's going on there. My, I look like it's I have so gross. Bad. I like, I don't know. My hand doesn't look right. Yeah, because like you're. Usually my hands are like so pretty and they're not. Bag. Yeah, they're not. I can't be a hand model today. Oh, and now, well, I, I did do the laundry actually. I did end up throwing that load of laundry that caused all this trouble into the washer before we left because I just wanted to get it done. So, um, we'll go home and then I'll hang it out to dry but I did end up doing the laundry but I did ask him I said oh um he was like how did this happen and I'm like doing laundry so I'm like oh do you think you could write me a little note a doctor an official doctor's note stating that um I'm off laundry duty <laughs> but he wouldn't would he but I th but I think I'm going to use this as an excuse I was actually going to um go do a whole bunch of gardening today but I don't think I should. I don't think I should um, be digging in the dirt and risk getting it. I ju just, I don't want it infected, right? So I don't think I should actually, and I can't feel, I don't know how I'd be able to use a shovel anyway, because I feel kind of like, I'm eating your head. Really, he didn't do anything to my brain. That's just me. <laughs> it's not my brain that he froze. Sadly. Sad, but true. He did nothing to my brain. It was my finger. But I don't... It doesn't work properly, so I don't really know how I'd be able to use a shovel very well. And plus, I don't want... I really don't want it infected. I don't want to have to go back. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I don't want to go back and then be like, Oh, yeah, well, aside from the laundry, now I have an infection because I was digging in the dirt so I think I'm actually gonna just take a day off of gardening and relax and sit outside we have a beautiful canopy with I set up the little bistro table and chairs yesterday in the beautiful weather so I think I'm actually gonna just go home and sit outside and chill just sit at my little table and relax and let the boys play outside it's a beautiful warm day so let's get to it. Maybe we'll continue this vlog from home. So we shall see you probably at home. I'll maybe film a little bit of the boys outside and me relaxing with my feet up. Okay, we'll see you there.